Hello everyone, welcome back. Thank you so, so much for joining me. I'm risking it all today and I am doing a tutorial. <laughs> Listen, no one watches these anymore, but I was inspired recently by somebody who I follow on Instagram. Her username is KXGlam, K-A-I-X Glam, I'll put her on the screen here. And she put on her story, she was like, why does no one do tutorials anymore? Like, why, why does no one do that? And I replied with like, Oh, no one watch like no one watches them anymore. And she was like, "Well, that kind of that's crappy." And I was like, "Yeah, no, it is." And but it kind of inspired me to be like, you know what? I feel like every other Monday, as well as my other content, I might push out, <laughs> push out. I might put out a tutorial slash review, like the videos that maybe don't go get so many views usually on my channels are like product reviews and tutorials. So I might make them an extra content for you all. So those who are interested in watching it can, those who aren't and who are more into my reaction videos can watch those too. Cause I like doing, I like doing them. I like making them. So, you know, we have to have some fun sometimes. <laughs> so what we're gonna do today is do a tutorial that is kind of a newer version of one I did a while back where I, it was, I can't stop, I will call it like stop ruining your eye makeup or you're ruining your eye makeup. Something where it was like, let me help you do your eye makeup basically. So what I want to do today is a video on how to perfect your eye makeup and we're gonna go in depth. We're not just gonna go like, you know, this is how you do it. I'm gonna talk about angles that you hold your brush at, angles where you look, how you look in the mirror, all these little things that I have learned from my experience as a makeup artist and teaching makeup to people to help you with your eye makeup. Now, if you yourself are incredible at eye makeup, leave um, some of your tips below. That'd be great so everyone can kind of like bounce off each other, but I'm gonna share with you everything that I know today. Please do consider subscribing, giving this video a thumbs up. Let's get into it. But some of my eyelash. We are gonna be using, oh my God, the Patrick Qatar for, for eyes. This is the, was this the first one? I can't remember. Um, yeah, so we're gonna be using this. So one eye, I'm gonna do it quite obviously in a way where um, the eye system thing is going wrong. That will be the scar side. And then we'll do it with all my tips on this side. So the scar side is, in, in these improvements and the other side is fine. <laughs> so let's start with eye primer, okay? Oh, I should have put concealer on. You will know how I feel about eye primer and concealer. If not, I will link a video below that is all about eye primers and you can take a look there. So here's how I'm gonna eye apply eye primer. I'm gonna start mainly on the lid and you can do this with eye primer in any form and I'm using it just in a neutral tone. So I got a lip mask on it, it's really claggy. One of the main things I get asked a lot about eye primer is like why it's making people's eyelids look dry. There's a few reasons for that. One, the product could just be too dry for your skin. So go for something that's silkier, but really hold your finger onto those dry areas and push that product delicately onto the lid, tiny, tiny bit at a time and we'll get a much smoother finish. Always remember this outside corner of the eye, like where our eyes would leak slightly, and just tap that outwards. I have like a bit of redness there for some reason. It's always been there. And it's up to you if you wanna take a little bit under the eye also. I just tend to get my finger that has any product left on it and take it across. Okay, so here's what we're gonna start off with first. We're gonna start off with a blending brush that isn't too big. So for example, this is a great blending brush. This is um, from Rose and Ben. This is their E29 brush. I would use this for buffing outwards. But what we want to do first with our eyeshadow, let's just do an, like a smoky eye, right? Is we want to start Start with a little bit of precision first. Now your eyeshadow brushes, the ones that are more precise, aren't gonna be as widespread. So I'm gonna take the My Kitco 127. Now you can see this is slightly domed on top, but if I put it to a side, it becomes flatter, whereas this is similar all the way around. So we're gonna go for a flatter one because we're gonna aim in the socket a little bit more. Now, when we're doing a smoky eye, we see a lot of product up here, this blended out product. Here's where people are going wrong. Let's start with a darker brown first. A lot of people I see, and I do see this online, but it's done on people with a lot of eye space. Like their eyebrows are really high, they're really lucky. But people are doing this thing where they will start their eyeshadow up here and then have a really sudden stop like this. And because we see on eye makeup that eyeshadow does come up higher, they kind of draw on where the eyeshadow should be. Whereas what we want to do, and we can do it with just one brush, is start in the socket deeper from the outside corner. And with our eyes open and just looking straight forward, we can circle and go backwards and forwards and start our eyeshadow off here. 
What we can do with this now is then go in with a bigger blending brush or we can just wipe away some of our eyeshadow on this brush. When we were poking our brush in like this before, we're just gonna take it to the edge of our eyeshadow and gently, gently blend. You can see I'm using my little finger as like this pivot almost. So when I go in, it stops me from going too full in, but it also keeps that motion similar every single time. I'm holding my brush in the middle of a brush, not too far down here, that's a lot of pressure, not too far up here because that's too light a pressure. I'm holding it kind of midway and I'm just going to gently blend like this, backwards and forwards, but buffing out this brown. And when I come in this way, I'm not taking it in like this. What I see a lot of people do is they quite violently go backwards and forwards like this. So they'll take their brush and they'll just quite, quite violently do this and hold it like right up here. But you can see you don't get that, that even distribution of weight in your hand and it's not pushing through. So we don't get this nice fade here. We get a really sudden cut in the color. Whereas if we'd been light-handed, light-handed, we can gradually blend that eyeshadow and we can even gradually add a little bit more if we wanted to. Now I personally like to take my eyeshadow up this way. So what I'm going to do is imagine like this invisible line here and a good guide for me is always to follow my bottom waterline and if that was to carry on from the point it stops that's where I like to keep my eyelashes above that level like I don't want to drip down that way. I like to keep my eyeshadow um, in that kind of direction. So if I keep my, I have missed a bit there. If I keep my finger there so you can see, I'm gonna hold my brush just like this and I'm gonna circle inwards to the eye. So like this, but I'm gonna move up this way at the same time, very light handed. So I have moved my hand up the brush a little bit more to where we were before. And I'm very light handedly gonna buff out this way. Now I'm holding my brush at this angle so it's coming in this way not like this because then I'm using this edge of a brush also to help fade out the eyeshadow as I go. Now I always like to think of my brushes right we have one as the um, applicator and if you are in the US, <laughs> a bigger one as your eraser, or if you are in the UK, your rubber. I know that means something completely different in the, in the US. Now, can you see how soft the edges of this is already? We can get this density in color, but we'll add it in a minute. So with a bigger brush, I'm just very gently, now, now can you see I'm holding it right at the end here, right up here, because I want a really soft, and my little finger's gonna go up. Think fancy, think delicate, that always gonna give you a, a more of a delicate finish. And I'm just gonna go, I, I can now see the shape is going up like this and across like this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm very delicately gonna flick up along the edges of that shape, and same this way, and take it a little bit inwards. Now, the thing with eye makeup is now we can add a little bit more. If I'm not satisfied with that, we can add a little bit more. Starting again from where we started before, where you place your brush first is where the most color of and most product is going to come off, you see? So now we can add a little bit more to start achieving the density we want. Take your time, take your time. And this is a point where some people might go in with, let's say, like a clear powder or a flesh color powder. Um, around the edges and blend it out a little bit more. I personally just like to blend it with a, a brush, <laughs> like so. So can we see our shape is a little bit more complementary? Don't worry too much about the edges here. We can cut that off and I'll show you how to do that later. One question I um, get asked a lot is how I achieve that sharp wing and it's literally just cutting it off with concealer. But what we can do here now is if we want this to wing out more, I'm just taking my brush with no product on it. It's just the one we're using to blend and I'm literally just gonna flick that. Remember I said that line that we imagine? I'm gonna keep my finger there just to show you and I'm gonna aim towards that finger. So can you see there's a very faint line here and we can again just build up that brown. And once we cut that off with a bit of concealer, it's gonna look a lot darker. But don't worry about the density of this color here because we can always add on top of it again. We can always build that up and, and blend that out separately. You wanna think of your eye makeup like in sections, like slices, you know? <laughs> so I'm gonna fade that in, fade that in. I'm just gonna shut my eye because you can see we get like a crease sometimes if you have, my eyes aren't necessarily extremely hooded but they are a little bit. So I'm just gonna tap whatever's left on my brush 
through that little crease. And then with this brush, remember when you're blending, you don't always have to blend across. You can tap as well. So I'm gonna tap, 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 because there's still color on this brush. I'm gonna tap and push out this way. And we still get a nice fade. We're also gonna put product on the lid there as well. We're gonna go on the lid with a bit of a shimmer and I'm gonna use a flat brush for this because um, it, it picks up more product and it's a little bit denser. Now we have to be careful with shimmer because if I look straight forward, where I want to see shimmer on my eyes is where my lid is. We can take it up higher a little bit, but we also wanna make sure that when we blend it, it doesn't blend too much out this way. So for example, I'm not just gonna go in and add like this, you know, and just put it on just willy nilly wherever I want. We've made like this kind of rounded shape here, which is absolutely fine, but it just looks a bit costume-esque. So with the same shimmer, I'm gonna take, um, and the same brush, I'm just gonna have my chin up and I'm gonna look down into my mirror, which is just here. My mirror is about here. So this way I can see the whole of my eyelid, but also like uh, above my lid. So in my mind, I know where my lid stops and I know where my the crease begins and the brow where begins. I'm gonna start on the inside corner and I'm just gonna tap the eyeshadow on. It's like a little tap and a little drag. This way we get a lot more like density in color. And I'm just gonna stop about here like this halfway mark. Now what we can do is with the very straight part of our brush and coming in at an angle like this, like straight forward this way, I'm gonna almost take the top line a little bit further across. Now this is just this is just more for when our eyes are slightly open or you know we blink for 0.5 of a second. <laughs> I'm going to take our brush um, that has product left over on. I'm not going to add any more from the same brown and where this meets this you can see it's kind of like a harsh line at the moment. I'm going to drag the brown or what's left on the brush into the shimmer like this. Because what I don't want to do is take the shimmer too far across. And you may have heard me say before, I always think of a cheese cheese wedge when it comes to the outside corner of this eye. So I want the darkest shade to like swoop down so we get this kind of shape. So then it's in line with all this action going up this way. Can you see as well the difference in fallout on this side and not this side? We're a lot more controlled here and you know, not so much here. Let's move on to under the eyes. Now under the eyes is very much about angles. This is another place where I get a lot of comments of, um, it always looks untidy or it looks like I'm tired or this kind of thing. I don't mind looking like I'm tired. I'm just gonna clear away any fallout from both sides because I like to go in with my concealer now. Again, I would have done my brows and my um, eyes before skin, before I, um, before foundation. I mean, I was, so I would have prepped my skin, done uh, like um, my brows, eye primer, eyeshadow. Concealer, we're just gonna go under the eyes. I'm just gonna use my Rare Beauty one. With my concealer, this kind of ties into the eye makeup where I like to use a brush with precision and and like an edge to it. So this is one of my favorites. This is the Sigma 4D HD. And you can see it has this um, like tri um, pyramid thing. This is in my brush set with them because I really like how versatile and unique this brush is. So I'm just gonna use it like a normal concealer brush really, but I'm gonna use that edge to get right up to my lash line. And I, when I'm doing concealer on myself or on whoever, I don't usually get right up to the lash line if they're not gonna wear like quite a lot of eye makeup because it can give like a little bit of a strange look. Like imagine this with no eye makeup on. So here's how we're gonna cut off this um, eyeshadow. So you see again, my bottom waterline. I always imagine, like I said, that line that goes up here so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna follow that, but mainly from a little bit underneath. So I'm literally gonna take my brush and then just literally go for it. Just pull upwards and even take it into the hairline if you have to, we can clean it up later. And then I drag, I take the rest of the concealer across and drag down and just make sure I'm not going up into that um, eyeshadow. And this works with black as well. I do this with black eyeshadow. And then we're gonna take this across. And that, that's literally it. <laughs> it's nothing special. We can soften it up a little bit later. You can always go over the top with eyeshadow as well if you want to. And you can see we get that nice line. Now what I do want to do, you can see how it kind of comes down, but it it doesn't 
naturally fade into here. So we're gonna fade this into this. So with a really precise um, eyeshadow pencil, this is from Tres Luce B122. It's really thin, really, really thin and skinny. Now, usually I would hover over a mirror like this so I don't get fallout, but I'm just gonna really tap off my product and hope for the best just so I can show you. So we can see, can you see this like bit here? <laughs> I'm gonna start off at the lash line and I'm coming in straight forward. I'm just gonna push. I'm aiming for the root of the lashes. Always aim for something. When you have precision like this under the eyes, aim for the root of the lashes. It might not just go there, but it's gonna keep it more controlled. It's gonna keep the application controlled. And I'm always patting across the whole way. If I need to add more product, I'm gonna start again. I'm gonna start right here and I'm going to take it the whole way because we want it to fade out about here so we leave a gap just there we don't have to this is just my way of doing it can you see, still see now how this comes down dips up and dips down we want that to come straight across so just in this little corner I have to look in the mirror when I'm doing this sorry just in this little corner I'm actually just gonna start right at the corner of my eye and I'm just gonna circle downwards like this And then keep checking as I go. So just a tiny bit more. Now I'm doing circles instead of just bringing it right across because when we start bringing it right across, we need to add like a little bit more, a little bit more. And it kind of gets a little bit too much. So I can see it's still dipping a bit. So I'm just gonna do a circle down. God, I really can't, sorry. I really need to use my mirror. <laughs> I can't see in my monitor. With my brush, that um, no extra color, just a thing. I'm just gonna go very gently and delicately. My little finger's still there, coming straight forward. I'm just gonna brush that under the eye. If you want to, you can absolutely just use a clean brush or clean this brush off. But really delicate and really precise. I always follow like my eyeball. I can feel my eyeball with my brush. <laughs> now we have this like sharp shape. I can now kind of, if I want to, very delicately fill in any more darkness that we want. I'm just gonna go really light handed over this and still make more of a point. I can go in with my concealer brush, Not no extra product, just it's whatever's left on there. Just tidy this up a little bit. Little tiny bits as you go. Dang. Now what we don't want to do, I forgot about that part, kind of just brush across like this. Because then we get this really like stubbed on shape and we don't want to take it like, we, I mean, you can take it all the way in, but I, I like to have a little something. We get this really like stubbiness and then we get this like really strange round shape, which can look quite cute in, in some, um you know, some ways. Okay, eye pencil. And yes, there's a wrong and right, right, right away. So on the wrong side, I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna pull my eye down and just apply it along the lash line here and leave it at that. But can you see there's this very light, like gap in between my eye makeup and my waterline. So here's how we're gonna do it on the more improved side. We're gonna do the same as we did before. I'm just gonna pull down very slightly with my little finger and then very gently apply that to the waterline. Now I know some people don't like to do this. Like it's dangerous, there'll be build up of, um, stuff in your eyes for years. Okay, so that actually applied really well <laughs> because we had more of a control of where we were putting our eyeshadow underneath the eye. You see, we aimed for the lash line this side, on this side we didn't. However, I'm still gonna go in and hold my pencil at this angle. So almost flat against my face, aim for the lash line and very gently almost smudge it across those lashes like so. And you can also now like blend that a little bit. One thing you don't want to do before you blend it, make sure you're happy with how that pencil's looking. Cause can you see for example here, it's catched a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is just gently fade that out. What you don't want to do before blending out this pencil though is do any kind of powder on top cause then it's gonna set that smudge just like this. So those are a few little eyeshadow tricks that will help you with your eye makeup. I hope that helped in some way. If you have any questions, do go ahead and leave them below. Let me know. If you like a tutorial, let me know also. And if you like a tutorial, give this video a thumbs up so I know, because I don't know unless you tell me, unless you know.
you know? <laughs> Thank you so much again for joining me. Do consider subscribing and I will see you very, very soon.